Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys didn't already know me. And today I'm going to be doing a skincare haul for you guys. I've gotten a lot of skincare products over the past month from PR packages and just from me buying stuff at like CVS here and there. So if you want to see some of the products I got, then keep on watching. The first product is by the brand Vici Laboratories, and I've never heard of this company before. It looks like this. This is a serum, and um, it helps with like wrinkles and stuff like that, and I actually um, unboxed this on my Snapchat, and I was telling them like, yeah, I don't have wrinkles, but it's never too early to start you know, preparing your skin for like aging. So I do use this every time I wash my face, I put it on after. It's really nice because it moisturizes my face, but it doesn't leave any oily residue. And it just kind of leaves my face really mattified. So this one's just called the Youth Power Serum and it has no parabens in it, so that's always a plus. By that same brand, I got a face mask, and I am more of a sheet mask kind of girl. I'll get to that later. But I tried it out last night. I feel like when I was trying to compare this with other masks, it wasn't much different. I mean, it, it was a really nice mask, but I just like feel like if it's a little bit more expensive, then you could probably find something a little bit cheaper. But um, this is basically just a pore purifying mask. It's really good formula of a mask because it's like, soft and goes on so nicely but other than that like it didn't really like do anything greater to my skin than any other mask did next up are some elizabeth arden products i have never tried out anything from elizabeth arden and i actually got sent some things in the mail everything i've tried so far is amazing and totally worth the money i really do believe that like your makeup's not going to look as flawless as you want it to if you don't put enough time and effort into your skincare routine. So I've really been like washing my face every single night, every single morning, like doing like so much to my skin. And I would honestly tell you guys, if you were to spend your money on one thing, spend it on skincare instead of makeup, because you know, it starts off from the foundation and then you can just buy drugstore makeup because there's so many dupes out there. But skincare is really, really important, especially in our generation. Everyone wants to look younger while they're growing up. So it's really helpful to start now. So the first thing I have here is the Elizabeth Arden skin illuminating retexturizing pads and I really really love this so I kind of am stingy with it because there's only like 50 pads in it so I'm kind of holding on to every bit that I have but I take this like maybe like I don't know twice a week once a week just when I'm feeling like you know fancy or whatever and I'll take it and just like kind of rub it around my face. This product really helps to even out my skin tone. That's probably one of my biggest problems with my skin. I just have like really discolored skin. This product is really awesome for the days that you might not want to wear makeup because it'll literally make your skin look like it's glowing. The next thing is also from Elizabeth Arden. This is the City Smart Hydrating Shields. So basically it's just an SPF moisturizer and I have tried this out once before and it was kind of like a bit oily and I don't know, I'm just not a fan of like SPF face moisturizers even though they're like awesome for you and you really need to like wear them. My mom always tells me I need to like wear some sort of SPF but I like really don't like it. I'm not saying that this specific product is like bad by any means but I personally don't like SPF but I thought it was really cute because it has like a little pump and I don't know I just really like the packaging of it so I mean if I did wear SPF I'd probably love this. Am I like the only person that like hates SPF and like putting on sunblock? Oh my god like when I come home from the beach and I like had to put on sunblock I can't even like scrub it off me and then it looks like all white and then gets all gross and ugh. so the next product is so freaking cool look at this like what 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 even this is the skin illuminating brightening capsules from Elizabeth Arden too and I was like really intrigued by this so basically you get one of these capsules and just tear the top off of them and then this like kind of like serum like just leaks out onto your hand and then you can put it all over your face and I think this product is really cool because you don't have to like waste product and you also don't have to get like two less of a product just because you're being greedy you know so it's like already set for you like the product amount that you should be using for your skin and the next day when I woke up with this oh my god my skin was like glowing so much it's not an oily feeling either it's like a gel kind of I don't know I don't really want to say silicone but like 
I don't know, it feels like so nice, like a baby's butt almost. I really recommend this for those days when you have like a fancy event the next day and you want your skin to be like super healthy and glowing. The next one is also from Elizabeth Arden and it is the 8 Hour Cream. It's fragrance free so that's always good and I really don't know why it's like called a cream because it's actually an ointment. This is really good for literally anything on your body that is super dry. Like I have really bad eczema problems so sometimes I'll put this on my upper lip and then it'll like moisturize it so well. Or I have really really bad like I don't even know what these are called like hang nails or like I don't know I just pick at them all the time. So I've really been looking for something to like kind of like not cure it but like kind of help it because it looks so bad when I have my nails like all pretty painted and then like there's these little like dry skin all over my nails so this is really good for that just like putting it all over your nails even your dry hands like I get like so dry right in here and I actually need to start carrying around lotion which sometimes I do but I don't know why I took it out of my purse but I am gonna try to start using this on a daily basis for like my hands and my nails because I feel like this is really gonna help that. The next thing is this Ole Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream. I've been looking for a really good lotion to put on after I wash my face, and I know I said I put the um, serum on the Youth Serum, which I do, but I actually put this on before just to give it a little bit more moisture because my face is super, super dry. And um, this is also for wrinkles, I'm pretty sure, um, but have wrinkles so it's fine but it's a really nice moisturizer and it smells like really refreshing like it smells like someone's hair after they washed it is that weird yeah okay that's kind of weird I did get this in a pinch me subscription box so I'm not really sure if this is like the actual size of it or if it's just a sample size oh my god I forgot about this one this is actually um, by Elizabeth Arden as well and this is the flawless start instant perfecting primer this is almost like benefits professional and I can't really put a spot on the differences honestly so I kind of switch back and forth between this and the professional one because I did want to try this one out but I really don't see that much of a difference so I got this about a month ago I'm pretty sure I vlogged about it but this is the sweet tea and lemon peel away clay mask and it is from Freeman and Freeman actually has like such cute masks like I want to buy them all just to like have them like they're so cute they're like avocado ones there's cucumber one they made like so many I remember my first ever face mask was by Freeman and it was the avocado one I got it in like sixth grade or something like that I thought it was so cool had a slumber party you know the green masks and stuff so stereotypical but um it's so cool that they have like all these options now like I went to Ulta the other day and I like saw so many of these and so I really want to try this one because I don't have any peel away masks and I was really interested to try this so I really do recommend these because these are awesome products especially for the price next I had to restock on some makeup remover so I got this one it is the Garnier skin active micellar cleansing water and it says no oil but I swear it has like a little bit of oil in it like as you can see it's like having a weird separation I don't know it says no oil but like I can definitely feel it I hate when makeup remover makes me feel oily and this one kind of does so like I'm just gonna probably just finish this one and get another one because I don't really want to waste my money but I did really really love the simple micellar water better than this one no offense I just like probably got the wrong one because there was actually two I think the other one had a pink top so maybe that one didn't really have the oil in it but I don't know. But other than that, a makeup remover is a makeup remover, so I mean, it does its job. So these next products are a big step for me, guys. It's shampoo and conditioner. This also came in my Pinch Me box. And okay, these are from Garnier, and these are whole blends, repairing, conditioner, and shampoo. Um, and it's in the scent Honey Treasures. I was kind of skeptical about like trying them out just because like Every time I try a different shampoo and conditioner, I just like don't really like it that much and just like don't really see much of a difference. Right now, I actually use the Redkins All Soft Conditioner and Shampoo, and obviously I love that, but like I kind of like want to switch it up a bit because I've been using that for like maybe over three years or something. Okay, maybe like two. I don't know. It a long time, okay? <laughs> After I showered, I felt my hair and I was like, oh my god, my hair has never felt like healthier and just like softer. And 
It also smelled like really, really good. So I think once I'm out of the Redkins All Soft, I'm probably gonna purchase these ones in the full size. And the last product is my sheet masks. And these are actually from Forever 21. They were so cheap, you guys. Oh my God, I don't, let's see. Okay, this, this whole packet right here was $5.90. Can we just take a minute? $5.90 for five masks. So these were like about like $1 each pretty much. Like, what the heck? Like I said, I have kind of dry skin, so these actually moisturize my face instead of kind of like drying out my face like a lot of other masks do, like clay masks. And that's why I said like the Vichy one is kind of like not doing it for me just because I realized what I've been missing out on all this time is sheet masks because they make my skin brighter, they make it more moisturized, and just like everything that I could ever want in a mask. So I'm so obsessed with sheet masks. I do it like maybe like over three times a week probably. But if you want to try out some face masks, I really recommend going to Forever 21 or just like any cheaper place like that, like even TJ Maxx or something. For me, I personally wouldn't buy like the $5, $7 ones at Sephora just because I could buy like a $5 packet of five, you know? So that was my skincare haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have purchased any recent skincare products, leave them in the comments down below because I am like literally obsessed with skincare right now. So I'm totally down to like check out any products that you guys recommend. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.